Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mike Locke here, and I'm at a site called CSS Mania, CSSmania.com. And if you go there, you'll see this really cool site. It's a web gallery, and I get a lot of emails from folks um, that are interested in web design. They've they've actually been fooling around with websites and things like that. And but what they're having trouble with is the creative side of web design. And you know, um, one of the one of the things that um, I think what's cool about this particular site is if you go to if you go to the site cssmania.com first off you see you know a bunch of beautiful uh, websites in their gallery um, and you can you know search through that but what's cool about the site is if you click on this thing here it says uh, colors looking for colors you'll see a list of all these colors and you can actually click on one of these colors and what it'll do it will show you how different websites are um, using that particular color all right which is really cool so for for example this the hex value CC 6619 okay now they'll show you a bunch of sites that are actually um, using this color so for instance you can click on this one here and you get an idea on you know how this site integrates that particular color into their to their website so if you're starting out and you you know um, I actually came across this site and I love it now but um, so I'm gonna continue to use it for myself just to kinda learn how other folks how other designers are using uh, integrating their colors into their website so I would advise you if you're you know starting out in web design you're you're just now learning how to combine different colors and, and playing with different color combinations you know I would say go to this site and um, and you know just click on one of these colors like you can click on this this one here uh, let's see let's pick a blue one like, like this cool nice grayish blue color so you can come through here and you can see how different people are using that particular color so you might like that one you click here and you know you can get some ideas what I would do is study these sites you know um, maybe um, what you can do before you actually replicate one of these but you see this link here without actually clicking on the thumbnail if you click on this link here you'll actually get taken to like more of the information portion of this site and it'll show you before you actually click on the thumbnail it'll show you the actual color schemes you know the five color um, the color palette that this website is using so what I would do is take a screenshot of this click on this site and then sort of study how this nice website utilizes the color palette and so what I would do if you're starting out what I would do is copy this website not for you know commercial use but just for your personal learning uh, experience copy this website go through each of the different tabs and then just sort of learn how they utilize these colors you know copy everything and then just study you know okay they use they use this reddish color for the links you know and they use um, you know a dark gray color for the text what I would do is just copy the site exactly and try to rebuild it and, you know continue to do that and then you'll start to get better as you go along and you'll start to uh, um, create you know similar color palettes but utilizing your own design you know for for when you're dealing with clients and stuff like that but alright so go to CSS mania and uh, click on the colors link and just uh, click on one of these colors and uh, you'll start seeing some cool really beautiful websites and how to utilize those colors alright hopefully that was helpful and um, start using this today. I was blown away when I saw this. I came across this, this site not too long ago and this is just a, a great resource to have for, for any web designer. Alright, hope you learned a little bit from this. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing and uh, catch me in the next video. Alright.